Yo guys, what's up? It's Kellen here and welcome back to another video on the channel and man am I hyped to bring this video to you guys because it is my first FIFA 22 video and I thought I should get early access and, and since I'm playing it, I thought I might as well get some reviews out so you guys can can um, can judge the players and determine whether you guys want to buy them, whether they were spending the coins um, right at the start of the game or whether they are going to help your team or not. So, as you guys would have guessed from the title of this video, yes, it is going to be a Diogo Jota review. Um, I decided to go with a Premier League attacker um, at the moment because uh, most of you guys will use um, Premier League players in your starter team. And um, you guys can just see the team I got around him, Firmino, Oxley, Chamberlain, Neto. Um, Godfrey at centre-back is also really, really good. If you guys want to see a review on him, please just let me know down below in the comment section. But Without further ado, we're just going to get into the review and check out some of Jota's stats um, before heading into some gameplay. So as you guys saw on your screen, 5'10", five 5-star five weak foot, 4-star skills. And yeah, that's going to be really helpful combined with these really good shooting stats. Um, really solid shooting stats um, considering it's the start of the game. That 89 attacking positioning really comes to the fore, uh, one of his main stats. Um, shot power 88 honestly feels a lot lot higher because this guy absolutely blasts the ball into the net every time he shoots acceleration at 88 is really good combined with the 91 agility and the 86 balance really helps him get around defenders um, and he's really strong as well he got that 75 um, strength with the 85 aggression jumping is 80 and he's got some good heading accuracy combined with that jumping and the 5 foot 10 um, height of his so without further ado we are going to get into some gameplay with Diogo Jota and hopefully um, he is worth the 5,900 coins that we paid for him. So the first thing actually is a, I'm pretty sure this is not a goal. Uh, oh no, it is a goal. Uh, you see he made the run forward, he didn't really get the ball, but it bounces to him here. Good skill, gets past Godfrey, cuts inside, another fake shot to create space and he is able to roll it into the corner. Um, you guys can see the dribbling coming to the floor there. Um, good strength and pace as well from, from Jota to get his first goal for us. Um, then here, as you can see, I was really, really struggling uh, in the first few games, but eventually I got a hang of it and uh, got um, much better at the game and was able to actually um, play instead of just getting hammered um, over and over again. As you saw there, Jota at the heart of everything in that move and unfortunately not able to score a shot that would have gone in easily in FIFA 20. As you can see, the goalkeeper overhaul really uh, does make a huge difference. Yeah, I was going to pass it back to Fordham, but I wasn't too sure if he had the pace or strength to hold up Godfrey. So Jota keeps going, and uh, it's a great save at the near post. Yet again, uh, a, a good show of the keeper's upgrades, and um, shows how difficult it is to beat them in-game, actually. So some of the goals that Jota does score is right into the corner, and it has to be because keepers, like I said, in this game are absolutely insane. Here you see Jota makes another good run, um, Foden in the box, Jota cuts it back to him and he is denied of yet another assist. He did get eventually, you guys will see, 8 games, 8 goals and 2 assists. This is one of the goals, you see he makes the run, Firmino plays a pass through, takes one touch to control it and a little dink over the goalkeeper and he does get, um, I'm pretty sure that's the second goal of the review. Um, this game is really, really different, really, really difficult compared to FIFA 21. I had some um, difficulties adjusting to it, but once you get the hang of it, it is really, really fun. Even if you don't get the hang of it, it is actually very enjoyable. This should have been a definite goal. I'm not too sure why he missed that or why he took the shot like it's a finesse shot because it wasn't. It was a normal shot. Um, but it doesn't matter because, as you will see, I think he does end up getting an assist here. Good aggression, he wins it back after he loses it, he loses it again, he wins it back again, cuts onto that right foot, shape into the box and Brown Hill with a fantastic volley into the ground and into the back of the net. Uh, he is someone who I need to replace in my team, um, but he's good enough for now I suppose. There you see Begovic again showing how good the keepers are on this game. Jota with great strength and pace to, to hold off, I think that was Bacice. Uh, Woolock is free, first time pass into Pedro Neto and his touch lets him down and the move is gone but you guys can clearly see Jota's pace and strength coming to the fore, he's a really good all-rounder and this shows the advantage of the 5-star weak foot able to cut to, the, to his left hand side and just smashes it across goal 
into that top right corner. A really, really good finish um, from the Portuguese. I will just go through that goal again. Um, so he gets the ball and he has a choice of going out wide to Neto. I decided to just cut to the other way, cut cut to his left hand side and, and smash it into the top corner. And he did exactly that. A great finish on that five star weak foot from Jota. So you guys can see, as you can see um, from the gameplay, the connection wasn't that good. But again, good pace and strength from Jota. Gets into the Chamberlain and smashes it in. Um, to the to the roof of the net, a, another great finish, and Jota yet again showing his pace and strength, which we can clearly see is is really helpful um, when it comes to holding off defenders and, and running away from them in this game. This should have been a goal yet again. Not sure how the keeper managed to save it, but it, it's another great save. Jota yet again showing his strength, able to hold off the defender and get the shot away. Unfortunately, with this goal, I wasn't recording when he scored. Uh, but he did break from the counter from his own half actually he held off Regulon and knocked it past him ran the entire length of the pitch before chipping him past the goalkeeper so there yet again another brilliant brilliant goal from, from Diogo Jota so as you guys can see Willock switches it across the field I knock it down to Chamberlain moves it into Brownhill gets it into Jota touch past the defender good strength good agility and balance to keep the ball and cut in at the same time and, and yet again another finish into the back of the net is really really good at those being able to keep the ball in tight spaces um, and wriggle between defenders to, to create an opportunity to score here yet again take the touch inside that five star weak foot allows me to come back onto the left foot if I want to and I did and unfortunately the shot just isn't uh, far enough from the goalkeeper and as you guys will see here yet again good dribbling good acceleration good agility the 88 acceleration coming to the floor a great cross into the box and unfortunately the netto shot is blocked and this is yet another example of Jota's crossing ability. It's actually really, really good. And you can play him as a wide cam if you want to. But Firmino gets it out into Jota. Willock's making it out into the box. And that's actually right onto his foot. Um, so his crossing is really, really accurate as well. You, you can play him out wide if you want to. But in my opinion, preferred position for Jota would definitely be a striker. Here, good dribbling again. Pass one. He sits Lindelof down. And it's thrown on goal yet again on the left foot. Unfortunately, it's saved, but Neto was able to, to gather the rebounds. I wasn't going to take a chance and cut inside and finesse it just in case it took a heavy touch. Um, so I just smashed it and, and hoped that if it doesn't go in, I get the rebound, and I did. So, really, really helpful there um, that he does have really high shot power. Um, I think this is just a showcase of how good he is at dribbling takes it past a few players actually gets it into the box and he keeps possession well um that is not using any straight dribbling any of that sort it's just less stick dribbling and skill moves obviously and and, ex and accelerating them um, using a sprint button and i'm eventually going to mess this attack up because Firmino's shot gets blocked by the defender but um that the point was that jota's acceleration his skill moves and his agility and balance is actually really really good and he can get past most players in this game here good touch great ball control in the box and is able to control it and just smash it into the bottom corner so there yet again showing that he's always in the right place at the right time i think it was 89 attack positioning that he had and yeah good for me again just able to hit the drag back between the two defenders create space for himself and smash it into the roof of the net and that was um the last goal of the review so guys my final thoughts on diogo jota is he worth 5900 coins at this stage of the game yes definitely most most definitely in fact i i probably rank him at about worth it if he was like 15k or so um because you guys do get that coin boost when you when you jump into people so you play two games and you basically have enough coins to buy jota because the price is dropping by the second i think it's about 4500 coins now if i'm not mistaken um we're just going to go through his key stats his um, weaknesses if he has any and um, yeah, so with the pace, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. He is really, really quick. His acceleration is really good. And once he's past the defender, he's got good strength and good sprint, or good enough sprint speed to hold off the defender. Um, and really, really run at players, run at goal, and cause problems for the defender. So pace, I'm going to go with 9 out of 10. His shooting is, is really cracked. His long shots, I did score one. And unfortunately, I didn't record it. I did score one from outside the box where he took a touch into the semicircle from just outside the box and smashed it past the goalkeeper across the goals. Um, so that was actually a really, really good finish. So his shooting, I'm going to give him um, an 8.5 out of 10 because there was a few chances that he missed that I didn't put into this review where it was a decent enough angle for a finish shot inside the box and he missed it. 
Um, his passing is actually not too bad. Uh, of course, you're not going to hit LB, LB, I mean L1 triangle overthrows with Diogo Jota, but you can if you want to. Uh, so his passing, I'm going to give eight out of ten. His dribbling is really his key stat. Um, I'm going to give his dribbling a 9.5 out of 10 because this guy feels really, really good on the ball. As you would have seen through the review, he's able to turn, run at defenders, wriggle between gaps that really aren't possible um, and create good shooting chances for himself as you would have seen in at least two or three of the goals um, throughout this video. His defending, well it's defending, I guess it doesn't really matter. His headers um, didn't really get a chance to test it but he did win a few headers from the corners and it did actually go in. So. Not too bad there. Um, and his physical, I'm gonna go with an 8.5 out of 10. is really strong, as you guys saw, he's able to hold his own. Um, and with that, I do bring an end to this video. So if you guys like this video, please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will try to upload more content. So until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.